So, um, as you know, I made the uh, Beast a couple years ago. Um, it's great. Uh, it does a really good job of processing a lot of material. And it's sitting over here. I got it stacked over here. The Beast is is a pretty good sized tide banker. It's got about um, 8 feet of sluicing. It's 12 inches wide. And you can move a lot of material through this. Um, but most of the time I go out by myself. I either have my high banker, my mini here, that I'll use. And so I got a little, <coughs> little, uh, I don't know, just got a little bit, <laughs> wanted to do something, I should say. And so I decided I was going to build me a, a medium sized high banker that I could use with my Honda pump here, or that I could use with, um, my, 15 or 3,700 gallon an hour rule pump. I could use either one of them, but I also wanted to make it lighter weight. The uh, gauge of aluminum on the beast is really thick because it's very heavy duty. Uh, the gauge of aluminum I used on this is thinner. It's a uh, 60 thousandths. So this entire unit that I made is much easier for me to be able to, to, uh, pack around by myself. It weighs about 30 pounds. I made a few different modifications. It only took me one day to make this. Um, the only thing I had to wait for is I had to wait for my gold hog matting to come in. But um, I did make a few different modifications than I did on the beast. But I'll kind of walk you through it. I'll give you the dimensions and uh, what I like about it. And this is going to be my personal high banker that I'll take out if I have more material to um, that I can shovel in here, you know, shovel load after shovel load. With the mini high banker, I love it. It's it's great. Um, this is something that I use to pack in longer distances with me. I can't feed quite as much through this as I would like in most instances in the mini. This one here kind of solves that, that issue. I can still pack it in. It weighs... Um, a little bit less, believe it or not, than my mini high banker. My mini high banker is about 40 pounds. This is about uh, 30 pounds because I made some modifications to it to cut down on the weight. And like I said, the first modification I made was the thinner aluminum. Um, also, the sluicing bed is 10 inches wide. Um, and then I made the sides of the, of the sluice um, three inches high instead of uh, the six inches high on the on the mini and the four inches high on my my uh, beast high banker um, I made it the same concept as the beast I built a box the box is 10 inches high um, 24 inches in length and 10 inches wide and 10 inches deep so it's still a pretty good size box and as you can see um, you can you can fit the shovel loads down in here and the um, unit that I have for using for the water flow into it is right here and it churns the water up pretty good up in there again I can use this with my 3700 gallon an hour rule pump or I can use it with my Honda um, WH 15 X which is a great pump now the Grizzly in it that I made. I made the opening for the Grizzly down in the in the bottom of the high banker. I made it um, 10 inches or 9 inches, excuse me, um, a 9 inch opening. And so I still have plenty of room. I have 15 inches of room here to shovel into and for it to break up and run down as a slick plate into the Grizzly. And so the Grizzly is made of um, quarter inch aluminum rods, very lightweight. Um, I didn't want to go with steel. I went with the aluminum rods. I have it. It is set up. Um, I, I set it up in between two one inch flat aluminum and I just used uh, JB weld on it. And so I set the pattern up. They are, I cut them to 12 inches in length and then I set the pattern up um, on the bottom, on the bottom one inch plate set them a half inch centers apart from each other and I just use JB weld 
and I put the top plate on, clamped it together, and that's how I hooked it up. I just drilled holes in it, uh, ma matched the holes. I just stuck it all into the, the box, drilled holes through it so they all match up. And I hooked it on with, uh, you know, two uh, quarter inch nuts and bolts and some washers. So that's how it is. These work great. I, I fitted these on all of my high bankers. My mini, I redid the mini that I got from Gold Hog, and I put these on there. I like the way they 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 uh, they perform a lot better. Um, I I used uh, some um, legs that I already had laying around, legs and and adjustable leg uh, clamps. I already had them around from a previous uh, project that I had that I didn't use anymore. So I put them on. And one thing I did do different, I noticed on um, the Gold Hog site, they have the they have the Raptor and the or the Viper or whatever those new high bankers they have. And I, I like this idea. Instead of supporting instead of supporting the the header box on the onto the body of the sluice, um, I took another leg leg um, um, clamps that I had. Um, a spare that pair that I had and I went and bought some one quarter inch or excuse me one half inch aluminum tubing uh, it's 36 inches long and I just took some aluminum weld and my uh, um, a torch and I welded them together you got to clean this really good you got to make sure that you use a metal brush for this to uh, to uh, adhere really well but it works great and so I, I made the legs for it so that now the header box is supported on the ground and not on the body of the sluice box causing extra wear and tear and you know extra holes you got to put in your sluice box um, so I, I made the box it's 24 by 10 by 10 across and so I, I went to a, a metal distributor in the area and I had them form the box and, and, and break it uh, put the bends to the box. I had them cut me a piece, you know, 10 by 10, and I just used um, half, uh, one inch, uh, uh, 90 degree angled aluminum, and I uh, riveted it on um, underneath the rivets where I, I sealed it also with, with a bead of um, marine adhesive, um, and marine adhesive, and also some silicone caulking. So it's sealed up so that water can't seep through. Then I put it all together. I put three rivets in, in each, on each panel and also on, on the bottom when I put this end plate on. Now on the back side, um, where the water is distributed into the header box, this is a six inch piece of aluminum that I, I put on. I drilled a, a two inch or two and a quarter inch hole so that my piping could fit in and this is set up for a right now for a one and a half inch uh, fitting for the end of it but this works really really well um, and I put a, a extra angled iron or angled uh, aluminum across here um, just for extra support riveted on glued it on the same way that I did on the front front end up here um, it's really important when if you decide to do this and if you're going to put it together, just get the pieces cut. That when you put it together, that you use the 90 degree angled aluminum. That it it isn't rounded on the inside, but it, it has sharp corners on the inside. Either that, or you'll have a hard time getting these to stick together or come together and you know in a in a real good fashion. On the back side of the of the high banker, the back side, the backstop is. Is four inches high and so I had them at a materials distributor um, in the area what I had them do is form my my sluice box it's 60 inches long five feet long I had them uh, like I said make the bed of it 10 inches wide and then the sides I had them break it and bend it um, three inch sides the back part though he, he I had him cut out and it's all one piece the back is all one piece and it's four inches high though and so um, I, I just put it all together. It took, didn't take me very long at all because I had most of the parts here all, already. And so this whole unit that I put together, you know, normally you'll buy these things and they're you know, anywhere from $1,000 to uh, you know, $1,700 on the internet. Right now, because I did have some spare parts and you have to spend an extra $40 on the legs and, and the hardware for the legs if you don't have them. 
But right now, I, I have in here, the most expensive part of this whole thing is the $120 I paid for the gold hog mat. But it's well worth it. It's just great mat matting. That's the most expensive part I have in it. Um, all told, with, with the gold hog mat, I have about $200, maybe a little bit less than $200 uh, invested in this. And so it's, it's well worth, you know, your time. It only took me, like I said, a day to make it, less than a day actually, to make it and put it all together and, um, uh, and you know, assemble it all. But as, as, you, as you build these, these types of projects, they become easier and easier to build over time. And so you already know what you want to do. I just had it in my head. This is what I want to do. And that's the way I built it. Now, in order for the box and, and for the... Uh, and for the uh, rods, the the grizzly to um, not when you when you lift up when you raise up the box in order for it to not uh, be obstructed, you have to raise up the back side of your box. Okay, from the you have to raise your the back side of your box up from the back side of the of the high banker. And so I just made um, six inch. They're two by it's it's two inch wide flat aluminum, very sturdy, very strong. And I just, I raised it up six inches so that it easily clears um, whenever I raise the box up so that the bars easily clear back here and don't be, get bound up. You're gonna have to do that. If you do that, you're gonna have to, if you build one of these, you're gonna have to raise up the back end of it um, so that uh, when you tilt up this box, that as you tilt it up, it isn't obstructed by the backside of the, of the high banker. So I raised it up six inches. I learned that on my other one through trial and error. Now, in the back side of the box, I have a, I have a one quarter inch punch plate. Underneath the one quarter inch punch plate, I have some uh, I have some uh, I have some um, miner's moss. And the miner's moss it makes kind of a liquid bed back there. This is where I capture most of my my gold. I hold this all in place. I'll try to get a picture of it with the with one inch um, angled aluminum and I put the angled part up it's all held in with screws on the on the bottom see the the screws here that it's held in with and so I just loosen this up and it loosens up that bar and I can pull my mat out and so this is what it's all head, held into and then and the matting I notched and it fits on on down in here inside the it fits right underneath that and in between the, the the screws and so then I just slide the matting into the notches that I made in the matting and I just tighten it all down now I put the angle up for a couple reasons number one I like the fact that some of the heavier materials which hopefully have gold in it lay back here and it and it's a struggle to get it over the top it also is an extra area where some of the bigger stuff clays and stuff might potentially gather in and take a while to break down but also my punch plate fits right over the top of it and so this holds the punch plate in place as it sits over the top of of the of the uh, uh, miners moss then I just put in place I'd had a uh, a wire rod or um, a threaded rod I cut it to size and it holds in place you know my this piece of matting that keeps the water flow and the bubbles down to a minimum and uh, keeps the water flow very level now on the on the matting I I bought a different type of style of mat matting from from uh, the gold hog there's the really deep grooved matting you see right here this is that um, raptor matting and so what I have I have two URs under the header they're great for capturing fine gold and stuff right underneath the header um, then I go into a razorback then to a scrubber then I go into two um, raptors go back to razorback scrubber scrubber raptor um, razorback, razorback, or excuse me, um, raptor, razorback. And so that's what I have in here. I have two URs, and I, I have three sections that are razorback, three sections that are scrubber, and three sections that are the new raptor 
um, mattings. And so I'm excited about getting this out. I think it's going to work fantastic. I think the modifications that I made for the legs are going to make this a whole lot more stable as I'm shoveling uh, gravel into it and also taking a lot of stress off the off of the uh, sluice box itself. Uh, painted the legs an uh, aluminum color so everything kind of matches. I'm kind of anal about that stuff. It's got to be clean and, and I try to make it look as nice as I can. Uh, I try to make it look as professional as I can but uh, um, it is homemade so there are some imperfections but one thing I did invest in this time is I did buy a hole cutter. I, I did my my other holes on my my other high bankers with a jigsaw. This here just fits perfectly. I want to maybe I can take this apart um, and show you how perfectly it fits in there and it's easy to assemble. I, everything is hooked together except these sections here that I just unscrew and and I can pull them off. It's kind of hard to do with one hand but so anyhow they just I have a spacer in here and uh, it all just screws right in place and tightens right up and I'm really excited about trying to get it out to use it. I can also if I choose I have a I do have a, a dredge nozzle um, a hydro uh, dredge that I use and I, I do have a, a nozzle that I can slide in here I just haven't put the bolt holes in for the for the nozzle itself the adapter so I can use this if I want if I did want to use it for uh, for using my hydro nozzle uh, but anyhow one last look at it I don't make these for anybody else I get a lot of I get a lot of uh, inquiries on can you send me the plans and can you make one for me I don't have plans for them I just made it up in my mind drew it down on some paper I uh, tried to give you the dimensions you know for the for the sluice itself and how it all hooks together but I I don't have any formal drawings for it um, I just know what I wanted and I built it to the to what I what I wanted so I will show you this when I go out the next time I'm gonna take this with me and uh, again it's very lightweight it's lighter weight aluminum than what I made the beast out of and what my mini high banker is so therefore it's about the same weight as my mini high banker except this is just uh, has the potential of shoveling a lot more material through than my mini high banker um, and putting you know obviously if you can get the more more material you move the more gold you can get and so this has the potential of, of being able to shovel a lot more through than my mini high banker but it, yet it's at the same weight and it's all one piece and I can just carry it all down to um, my dig site set it up in just very short order of time very lightweight again and uh, I'm really excited to see um, how it works if you do have any questions um, you know go ahead and ask um, I'll try to answer them the best I can but I don't I don't build these for anybody at least not yet when I talk retire maybe I'll build them and I'll sell a very inexpensive you know high banker to people <laughs> um, again it's not mass produced it's not perfect but I like it and I'll try to help you more with the dimensions and stuff if if you have questions but I don't have plans for it okay I don't have any drawings so that's what it looks like and I am fairly excited about it I know you can build one so if you need any help give me a holler thanks